So verse 38 says this. It says, Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. I want to say that again. Therefore, this is a word that connects back, kind of points back to something you just learned. We're going to learn a lot this morning. Uh, Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. You see, this verse is very clear that Jesus wants us to be a people that pray that the Lord would send. That our heart would be aligned with his and that we would be a people uh, that send. And this is why this, this series, I mean, this, 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 this morning, our bottom line is that praying ignites sending. Because the very last verse of our time together will tell us that God is calling us to pray that he would send. And so as we pray, we send. And, and I want to show you this. Uh, any uh, great movement of God was always preceded by prayer. If you look at the early church in, in Acts, in the book of Acts, just, just right after the gospel accounts of Jesus' life, the early church in Acts chapter 10, uh, Peter, one of the uh, Lord's disciples, was praying on the rooftop, right, of his house. Praying on the rooftop, and the Lord uh, uh, drew Cornelius to him, uh, a Gentile, and uh, Peter shared the gospel with the first Gentile, and we, we see this Gentile conversion. With the first Gentile conversion, we see that this movement of prayer, Peter praying, this was... Uh, this. this ignited and sparked this movement of the gospel, not only to the the Jews, but moving it towards the nations, to the Gentiles. And so this movement of the gospel was preceded by prayer. Acts chapter 13, the church of Antioch was gathered together there in this intense time of praying, like our church has been in this movement, this this praying uh, season in their church, and they were were gathered together praying. And what happened out of this prayer gathering? Paul and Barnabas were sent out as the first cross-cultural missionaries. See, this, this movement of God, this movement of the gospel was preceded by prayer. Our church, a little history lesson, I didn't know this, but uh, before I came on staff in 2004, uh, our, our church was gathered together in a thing called our sacred gathering. It was this uh, intense time of uh, devoted prayer uh, and fasting where our church was asking the Lord to put his hand and, uh, on our church and to, and to direct us and where he would have us to go. Out of this, uh, this prayer gathering, um, fervently seeking the Lord, many families felt a call to, to go, to, to, to sell all, and to go be uh, missionaries uh, across, across culture, uh, across the sea, uh, to Bangkok, to Brussels. Uh, and, and this was an incredible time in our church. But it also, this was the time where God set the, our faces of our church towards the nations. And he gave us this vision for, uh, to send and live sent, to be a sending church. Praying ignites sending. It's true, throughout the, uh, it's true throughout the Scripture, and it's true in our body this morning. And so with all of this in mind, with the, the understanding that prayer uh, not only motivates our sinning, but it ignites it within us. 